Um, first of all, go to background image. It usually starts at about 50, like about there. Bring it down to zero, okay? Second, I'm find the picture that you're gonna have, of course. I go into users, um, and I used to go to pictures, but it can change depending on where you saved it. Um, well, let's see, which one should I do? Um, MP40, I guess. Now, this is for block length, so of course it's going to be kind of block out. First of all, press tab to go into edit mode. Press G to grab and select. Press S to size it. Now, rotate, press R to rotate it. Okay? I might add subtitles because it might be a lot simpler to understand. Okay. So grab, you can select the vertice by pressing B. B makes it does this, and it selects both sides. Instead of whereas it goes like this, and you just click it, and you can't select them both. B can select them both. Now hit view side to go back. Oh, whoops! Suppose I brought that down wrong, so I'm gonna turn that like this. Now this side. Um, of course I screwed that up, so I should fix that. Okay. Now, like I said, press G. Grab. Um, basically just start modeling by pressing B like I just did, select, I might add caps like I said earlier, um, press E to extrude, and press region, okay, like I said, and now, if, what you're gonna do is press E, extrude region again, now, just press G to do it again. Now, if you're wondering how you got in the 3D view, kind of like where I just dragged it around, it's kind of confusing. I even had a hard time with it at first, but when I started modeling, I don't know why, but I just did. Now, what you're going to do is press Alt and just drag it like that. Sorry if it's kind of slow, but okay. Um, I'm going to now press. Select both of those by pressing that, B, and hold, make sure you hold it down or it'll turn into this and start selecting. Don't use that. Press B. Now, press extrude region. Okay, bring it to this. Okay. Now, basically, you're going to work your way up here just in the model. And you're going to start with the trigger guard, I think. It doesn't really make a difference what you do, but I personally like to start with the trigger guard. Now, what you do is, bring that over there, that you can just, if you don't want to really make this advanced detail, like, because it's just a tutorial, just bring it like that. That, okay? Now, just press extrude region. This is not going to be a very good model, it's going to be okay, but, you know, it's just a tutorial. Because I know a fair amount about modeling, but always hard when you're doing a tutorial. Um, let's grab that. Now, like I said, you want to kind of keep this a blocko, like I said, and you may have seen a couple blocko models if you play block at all, but if not, just kind of ignore the tutorial. Still learn a little bit from it, but, you know. Now basically just work your way up, okay, you don't want to go like this and select it and bring it back like that. Also right click to like let go and go back to where you were so you don't accidentally do something stupid like that. Now basically I just want to keep on extruding and sometimes, yeah like that pretty much. You kind of have to figure out a little bit out about yourself about Blender but I can probably put another tutorial how to like select and stuff, but this is basically the actual modeling for the block land. Because I really don't model that much anymore, but for block land, but because I would just work on a Thompson, it's very advanced, and you guys would never understand it unless you're like a true expert blender. But I'm not an expert, but I'm pretty good. Um, 
Now, this is actually heavily request. This was requested by Moonlight, I think. Unless you guys, it's requested by pretty much everybody. Because a lot of people don't know how to model, of course. Because there always is somebody that doesn't know how. And just keep extruding. I'm not gonna make this very block. I'm gonna try to make it, keep this very block on low poly, but you can view your poly is right here. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Well, anyways, it's right here. So there's 78 faces. That's like nothing. That's very low poly. And I usually like to keep it between 400 and 600 polys normally, keeping it blocko. If you have more than that, it's usually going to lag the server. Depends on if you're adding reloading or not, which I might cover in the next tutorial. This might be a two part tutorial if I'm right, but I don't know. Just keep on modeling. Modeling speaks for itself. Um, I hope this doesn't get too complicated, though. It might. Now, basically, just extrude. Um, well, it's pretty simple. Okay, so, so far I have that all done, okay? Now, if you can see that I don't really... I don't really do the trigger guard, so... Now, press... If you want to do, like, size it... See how this size X, that makes it thinner like that way, or size Y, that goes like this, size Z goes like, brings it closer towards from the top to the bottom, so size Z is what we're going to do, kind of rotates it for some reason, I don't know, that might be a blender problem, I have no clue, because I don't use the newer version, I use 2.49, which is a little bit outdated. Oh well. I don't like the beta. It's only good for like realistic models, but not very good at the, like using that realistic. Um, I tried out though. So. Um. Anyways, just extra. It doesn't have to be perfect, just so you know. Just post a bit, post a pic on a picture on uh, my YouTube. Just send it to me, and I can help you kind of fix it. Off in case you need some help. If you need help. Just comment on this video tutorial. Um, size Y. Now size Y brings it out apart from each other, depending on whether you're using it from the if you're using it from the side view. Okay, size Y. Now whereas I don't really like to uh, extrude into the model like this, so what I'm gonna do is this. Don't don't try this. Just do this this right here when you're doing it your way, but. I don't like to do that, so, first of all, select this, that is to select faces, X, brace face, now, what I like to do is, press this, this, select, select all these faces by pressing shift to select extra phases, now, press F to create a phase, okay, um, I'll probably cover the basics in a different video, but, you have to kind of know a little bit about Blender. At least I've seen in some videos of it before. And you notice how this is not very blocko model, so it's not very well it's blocko, just not really that great of a model. If you haven't already noticed. Um basically just extrude this so you don't create like stupid stuff like I did. Now select those. I'm not gonna make this very advanced. Also, I'll teach you about the beveling at the end of this tutorial. Because the beveling can screw up your model. Make sure you save a copy before you bevel. That or press Ctrl Z, which is also undo, which you can undo a step. Like, look how I press this. I brought this up here on accident. Whoops. Press Ctrl Z. Go back there, right where you started out again. So, very helpful. Um, okay, so I pretty much have this part of the model done. Once I do, I'll probably just pick the barrel, but I don't know. I'll just have to see what I have time for. It's kind of late right now. Um, this is kind of complicated. I don't really... I The first time I ever used Blender, I started out like you guys. Just didn't know anything about it. I was a new... Just didn't really understand anything. And I did not know how to model. I kind of believe myself when I say that, but... Um, keep extruding. 
it doesn't really have to be super detailed, like I missed a lot of detail right there. But if you want to, just add some detail. Don't add too much because you'll make it over poly then, um, which I don't really like to do. Press extrude region, now size Y. Oh, whoops. Size Y, which is also considered scaling, but I call size because it makes more sense in Blender. Um, size Y. Now, suppose I made the mistake of, what's it called, doing this too far in, just press Control z which also if you do this, press F, it, only, it does it all like that, which makes it a lot thinner, but I want to do this, just add a little bit of detail like that, okay? Now, it looks kind of crappy, because I just, I'm doing a tutorial on it, so, um, decide, in case you did that mistake. I know I do. <laughs> now, Z. Okay, I don't really know what the picture has in detail, but oh well. Okay. Now, press, select these three phases by pressing Shift and selecting the phases. Press S, select those, S. Now, so I press S, I have to select all those, okay? So you see how I kind of got the base of the model done. Very bad model, I admit. Um, I don't really like it, but oh well. A little bit extra region. Size Y. Now this is going to be the magazine. Plus extra region. This is kind of messed up because the picture is leaning, and I know that. I don't know why. Now this is the valuing right here. Um. Pressing this, press W. Don't mess with anything else, okay? Press the bevel. Now just br the closer you bring the mouse, the closer, you, the further away you bring the mouse, the more of beveling it does. But if you make it like, if you bring it closer, the further it goes out, okay? So very simple. See how it kind of got the bevel very nicely. Um, you side. Um. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna size all this because it's very big and fat. So you're gonna press view front. This is the front side. So press size X if you're in if you're in front view. This will thin it up. See? It doesn't look as ugly now. Um now, this picture is a little bit lean. I will press add add cylinder. Press Eight. Don't press six because it'll be very hard to use then. Wise. Now rotate this to side. Like that. Okay. So it's perfectly even. So. Side. Okay. Now press S. Press R, and then type in ninety. Okay. Now rotate to this to the side. Okay, now, press S, scale it, or size it, whatever you want to consider it. Now, see, I want to make it compared with the model, so front side, view side. Okay, see how it's kind of fat? Control Z, if I accidentally just selected it. I can size it down a little bit, but I don't want to make it too small either. Oh, it looks really weird. I don't know, it's about you, but... Now just press extra region size because you want to make this look kind of realistic but not too much. Um, extra just keep extruding. Now if you want to add this detail, just end it at this and then extrude again. End it at this. Extrude again. Extrude size or, or scale like I mentioned before. Press. See, I want to kind of make this thin too, so. This is also for people that aren't using Blockland, if you want. I don't really recommend it, but. Because this is very, very Blocko. Which is the style in Blockland used by many people. Now, this is gonna, so we can make a site, okay? Now, see how you'd like that eject point? 